number one spot. On the first part of the journey, I was looking at all the... Horse with no name was essentially about the desert. That's all it's really about. I know there's always been the speculation that it's more than that, and that it was drug-related and this and that. But that was it. It was a very simple song, a couple of chords, and that memorable hook, la, 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 la. It's one of those um, songs, and I think we're very grateful to have had, uh, you know, one, at least one occur in our career, but it, when people come up and discuss that, very often they will add that I remember where I was the first time I heard it. See, I've been through the desert on a horse with no name. It felt good to be out of the rain. In the desert, you can't remember your name. Cause there ain't no one more to give you no pain. Wide success of Horse With No Name suggested that the public at large were ready for California's new acoustic sound, and America took full advantage, coming up with a succession of simple but beautifully crafted pop songs. The song was just this, not just, but it just started with these chords. Yeah, that's all it was. I remember um, vividly having this uh, mental picture of that stretch of the coastline, uh, traveling with my family when I was younger. Ventura Highway itself is not, there's no such beast. What I was really trying to depict was a Pacific Coast Highway, Highway 1, which goes up to the town of Ventura. Ventura Highway That was the uh, inspiration for the lyric, and I'm very proud of that song in, in the overall. I think it's it's um, it stood, it, it's still got that freshness about it. Even when we play on stage now at at the ripe old age of what are we, 48 or something, it still feels like kind of teenagers and free wind blowing through your hair. And so I think it it, uh, it did its job. Yeah. 